The second thing I want you to think about, which is kind of like intervallic playing, but it's a little more constructed, is playing arpeggios or arpeggio ideas. Now, an arpeggio is a broken chord. So if you were to take, for instance, a G major chord, and instead of just strumming it, you play the individual notes of that chord, you'd be playing an arpeggio. But guitar players, when we solo, we're not just looking at a chord and just going just doing this. What we have a tendency of doing is trying to find the notes of that chord. Now again, you either know your theory to know that a G major chord is comprised of G, B, and D, which is the root, the third, and the fifth, all that kind of stuff. Or you don't. You just have the ability of being able to visualize a chord shape on your guitar, and either way works just fine. For instance, if you knew your triads in your head and you knew them on your fretboard, your arpeggios, you'd know you could play, you know, G, <laughs> which when you play those arpeggios, it's intervallic, right? Because you're skipping over other notes.